Welcome friends to another video. Today I'm going to show you a very short tutorial on how to enter recovery mode on every Samsung device that got updated to One UI 3.0 slash Android 11. In my case, Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, because this is my daily driver. This is what I've been using for the past uh, one year and four months or uh, five months. And I updated it a couple of days ago to Android 11 and unfortunately I had major issues in uh, getting in recovery mode in order for me to wipe out the cache partition and um, I struggled for a couple of days there were many of my subscribers who let me know how I can uh, enter recovery mode finally I managed to enter to uh, do my uh, wipe cache partition but unfortunately a couple of bugs are still present with this major software update I mean bugs with the photo editor, bugs with uh, digital well-being, bugs with uh, the notifications and um, these are pretty much the biggest ones that I have encountered. No problems with uh, battery life, no problems with uh, audio quality, with uh, signal reception and whatnot. Everything is good in that respect. But the biggest problem was entering recovery mode. Therefore, let me show you very quickly how you can enter your um, Samsung device into recovery mode in order for you to wipe uh, the cache partition which is highly recommended every single time that you install a new software update on your device. In order to do this, prior to this update, you only had to do two things. Power down your device, which I'm going to do right now. And when it uh, completely powered down, you needed to hold volume up and power on button together until the phone restarted and the logo appeared so this was the simplest way but it doesn't work anymore not after this update as you can see my phone is rebooting completely right now and you're gonna see soon a fail message popping up on the screen so the old button combo doesn't work anymore. In order now to get in a recovery mode, there's your message. You now need your headphones. And this is uh, actually the second time that I'm using these headphones from AKG. So let's power down the device again. Let's wait for it to completely shut off let's insert the headphones and again using the same combination power on and volume up and now you can enter recovery mode so the same old combination of buttons but this time around you need to have your headphones inserted in your USB-C port. Samsung didn't say anything about this. I haven't read any article about this uh, problem. I haven't seen any news about this uh, new way of entering uh, recovery mode on uh, my Samsung device. So um, it's very curious and it was extremely annoying because every single time that I install a new update on my device, I always go to recovery mode in order to wipe the cache partition so that the older uh, software uh, doesn't, uh, let's say, uh, enter into a conflict with the newer software update. Therefore, using uh, the headphones inserted in your uh, USB-C port, with power on and volume up button, you can now enter recovery mode on your Samsung device, at least on my case, uh, case on the Samsung Note 10 Plus. Therefore, you can go and do whatever you feel uh, that you need to do in uh, this mode. Afterwards, just uh, reboot system now and you're good to go and use your device. Keep in mind, at least on my case, or in my case, I still have bugs present. I still have issues with this software update. Therefore, uh, be advised and uh, let's say uh, be patient and uh, wait for the next software update, probably the security update for January. And uh, probably they're going to fix all the bugs and all the issues that uh, came with uh, Android 11 slash One UI 3.0 on these devices. 
this pretty much does it for this video guys thank you for watching see you in the next one as always be safe be good peace